Okay, welcome to lesson two on learning the basics of Unshape. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to select a surface, create a sketch, draw in 2D accurately, set dimensions, extrude to add material. Don't worry if you don't know what that word is, you'll soon learn. And we're going to be turning 2D shapes into 3D solids and extrude to remove material as well. This is the shape that we're going to try and create. So if we go back onto Onshape, if you click the little button here, it will always take you back to your home. And in our previous lesson, we created one called Lesson 1. If I double click on that, it'll open it back up with the same view that we were used to last time. Now when we create sketches, we're going to go through this process over and over again. So in the video, if you go back to look at this, or I would suggest you write this down in your sketchbook, one after the other. If you can learn how to do these, these things in this order, you can create almost any shape accurately that you want to. So going back, the first one of those was selecting a surface. So we select a surface. I'm going to select top. If you imagine this being the floor, we're going to build our shape up from the floor. I'm then going to click this button sketch. And this green tick and box will appear. Do not tick the lovely, very tempting green tick. If you do that, it'll think you're finished drawing. You'll see that over here, Sketch 1 has been created. So if I double click on Sketch 1 again, the box will reappear. While we're drawing, you leave this box alone. The second thing was to orientate myself. So I'm going to use the dice and click top, and it's going to move that into the center of my screen. We're now essentially on something like paint. So we've got loads of different drawing tools up here. I'm going to select the circle. Now I always like to start in the middle, but you don't necessarily have to. Click once, drag out any distance I like, and click again. Now you'll see, if I just make two clicks, that this measurement here, 139.7, is in white. If I don't click anything else, and I type in 100, that changes my circle, and that is now 100 millimeters across. I know that because I changed my preferences earlier to millimeters. I'm now going to reorientate myself to isometric. From here, I'm going to click the extrude button, which is this one up here that looks slightly there's only two that are in 3D up the top here, and I'm going to click the ones with squares. And you'll notice it's become three dimensions. But I've now got a box here, which gives me some options. The only one I'm going to change at the moment is the depth, and I'm going to change that to 100. Now I can click tick. And using my right mouse button, I can look around. I've created a 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter cylinder. So I selected the surface, I sketched, I orientated my view, I drew in 2D, I reorientated my view, I clicked extrude, set it to 100, and ticked the green box. So any time I want to create any other shape, all I have to do is follow that.